Hey Reddit, I need to get some perspective on a situation that stirred up some feelings I thought I'd buried. A little background. I'm 29 and I was in a two-year, very secret relationship with Charles, who's 27. I'll admit this relationship wasn't like others I'd heard about. No one in our lives knew we were together. I'd never been in a relationship before, and I'm a bigger girl so part of me didn't push him to make us public. In hindsight, I'm pretty sure Charles took advantage of that insecurity. For two years he stayed at my place most nights. We shared everything from meals to dreams and planned out imaginary futures. But despite the comfort we had together, Charles never introduced me to his friends or family, and we never posted anything about each other online. I let myself believe that it was because he was private or maybe he just needed time to feel secure. But then, one day, I came home and found that all of his stuff was gone. Every little trace of him vanished from my apartment. When I tried calling him, I found out he'd blocked my number and cut me off on social media. He'd ghosted me completely. It felt like I'd lost someone to an invisible hand, a love that I couldn't grieve publicly because no one knew we'd even been together. I had no closure, just this terrible empty feeling. It took a lot for me to get past it, but eventually I did, even though it left me feeling pretty raw and honestly embarrassed. A few weeks after he ghosted me, I found out the reason. He'd been in a public relationship with another woman, Jess, the whole time. She was someone who existed in his real life, who got to be proud of him and be seen by his side. I can't even begin to describe the hurt. It felt like everything I thought I knew was twisted into something ugly, but I couldn't change any of it, so I just accepted it and moved on. Recently, a mutual friend told me Charles was supposed to marry Jess, but had caught her cheating on him. They also mentioned that his grandfather, whom he was very close to, had passed away about a month ago. It stirred up a bit of sympathy for him. I remembered how much he loved his grandpa, and I knew he was probably struggling. Then last night, I ran into Charles at the grocery store. It was the first time I'd seen him since he disappeared, and it felt like the world froze. He walked up to me with this casual, hey, how have you been? Like we were old friends catching up. I can't really explain what happened in that moment, but something inside me snapped. I looked at him with the coldest expression I could muster and said, I'm sorry, do I know you? His face went pale. I just walked away and went on with my shopping, feeling a weird sense of both satisfaction and sadness. Later, I told a mutual friend about the encounter. This friend doesn't know the full story and doesn't realize Charles and I were actually together. They just know we don't speak anymore and they thought my response was cruel given everything he's going through. They called me mean and heartless, saying I could have at least acknowledged him since he'd just been through a rough breakup and his grandpa's passing. Here's the thing, I feel a little bad, knowing that he's grieving his grandpa and dealing with Jess's betrayal. He was close to his grandpa and I know he must be hurting. But at the same time, he made me feel disposable, like I was nothing more than a shadow in his life. He was the one who discarded me, who hid me and kept me as a secret. It's hard to extend sympathy to someone who never showed me an ounce of it even when I needed it most. My friends know we dislike each other, but they don't know the depth of what I went through. And honestly, I haven't shared the whole story because I'm ashamed. Part of me feels like people wouldn't believe it. Charles is very attractive and I'm, well, not what people would expect him to go for. I've been embarrassed by how much I let myself fall for someone who was so clearly using me, and I can't bring myself to open up about that yet. So Reddit, am I the asshole for pretending not to know him? Should I have shown some sympathy given what he's going through, or was I justified in finally standing up for myself in a way he can't ignore? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious about outside opinions.